Let's learn in this video how to create a complete CI pipeline for a web application and a database in Azure DevOps. In this pipeline, we'll go to build the web application, run the unit tests, run a static code analysis, prepare the SQL scripts, and then upload all the artifacts into a drop folder. So let's get started by explaining the flow of this pipeline. So here I would have the application source code along with the tests and the integration tests uh, described inside the developer machine who would go to push that code into Git repository. And once we have a pull request on that repo that will trigger the build or the CI pipeline that will go to build the application source code by the, the downloading the application code using git clone and then restoring the dependencies of that application, building the app, running unit tests and uploading the package into the artifact or the drop folder. But in addition to these steps, we can also add some other additional steps like scanning the application code using tools like Sonar, for example. And then we can go to build the application database or build the database file if you are using, for example, SQL, uh, SQL uh, project in Visual Studio, then that's what you do in order to generate the deck pack file. If you use just simple SQL uh, files, then you don't need to do anything right there. You just prepare your SQL scripts. And then you, uh, you go to build the UI or the integration tests, either a UI, I mean, if, for example, using Selenium, then we would have an, another um, project for that uh, application. And then we go to build it in order to generate the DLLs or the packages from there. And then we go to upload all of these artifacts into uh, an arti the drop folder in Azure DevOps so that we can use it later from the release pipeline. And this here we would focus only on the build pipeline in order to try to create a complete CI pipeline. And in next videos, we'll go to explore the release pipeline. So for this demo, I have prepared a sample application and this GitHub repository where you would find here the web application, which is .NET Core application. And in addition to that, I have, uh, so in that web app, actually I have the CS uh, project uh, file. So this is a C -Sharp, C Sharp application using ASP.NET Core. And then I have another project, which is the unit tests, where here I'm defining uh, simple cases for uh, uh, unit tests written in uh, uh, C Sharp. And then I have other folders for the integration or for actually the UI tests that I've written using Selenium with .NET. So this is using .NET framework. And then here I have other project and an additional one for uh, um, ARM templates. So here I'm using these simple uh, JSON files to deploy the infrastructure into the Azure cloud. Now, um, with all of these, I have also the pipeline as code or the YAML file for my pipeline described into this second folder called Azure Pipeline CI number two. And this is the pipeline that I'll be using today. Let's see how that works in Azure DevOps. So switching to Azure DevOps from here, I have actually created a new project and then I've imported this uh, pipeline using the um, pipeline section right here. And then here I have this pipeline. Let's, let me explain what will happen into this pipeline. So here first I set, start by uh, setting up the trigger as none. So the only way to run this pipeline is by clicking this run button right here. And then I specify multiple jobs in this pipeline. We have actually a job First job to run the web application, second one for the database, third one for the Selenium UI tests, and then for the infrastructure. Let's explore all of these jobs together. So let me start first with the web application. So with the web application, I would actually uh, specify where to run this pipeline. So in this case, I would run it into a Windows Server 2019 machine and I specify a build configuration, which is released. And then and to this uh, steps section, I start um, putting here the steps that should run as part of this build pipeline for the web application. So that will start first by restoring the NuGet packages using this task right here, which is uh, .NET Core that is configured to look for the web app.cs proj file and then it will read the NuGet packages from there and download it into the build agent of my application. 
And then I've written here a PowerShell script in order to add uh, project uh, GUID into my application so that I can uh, scan it later with uh, Sonar. So this was actually required. Now I think uh, it's not required anymore with recent versions of .NET. Um, so um, then next I would here start the Sonar Cloud um, uh, scanning for the code. I would prepare that uh, task. So here I would actually connect to my Sonar Cloud organization. I have created an account on sonarcloud.io and uh, from there I can uh, scan my application looking for any uh, threads or any uh, bugs in my application. Next I go to build my application and after that I'll go to run unit tests for my application. So I look here for any, I'm um, using a wildcard to say, look for any file that uh, its name contains unit test. And then I go to run the .NET publish command in order to create the package or the zip folder for my application. And I'll output that into an artifact staging directory. So note this is a name predefined in Azure DevOps. That's uh, the name of a folder actually. And then after that, I'll go to run the code analysis. So what I am doing here is that I'm using another task for Sonar Cloud Publish. And after that, I'll go to publish the results into Azure DevOps. And then I'll go to uh, publish the artifacts in, from that artifact staging directory into the drop folder in Azure DevOps. So that's the first job for building the web application. I have a second job for the database. And with the database, uh, in my case, remember, it's a project for me. So uh, either that could be actually depending on what you use for your project. It could be simple SQL scripts or it could be database project. In my case, it's a database project using SQL Server project uh, type in Visual Studio. So to build it, I need to use the command ms build. So there I specify the SQL proj file and then that will build it and uh, generate the DLLs or actually mainly generate the DACPAC file right there. So I'll go to publish that DACPAC file into Azure DevOps so that I can retrieve it later from my release pipeline. Next, I move here to the Selenium projects. So I have a project uh, using Selenium for UI tests, for user interfaces uh, tests. So I want to run that into Windows Server 2019 because it's using .NET Framework. So I use here another tool, uh, which is nuget.exe uh, to restore the nuget packages. And I want to make sure that tool is actually installed in my build agent. So I use nuget tool installer and then I restore the packages configure it correctly and then in the settings right here I go to use MS build again to build my application so I specify the configuration right there where is the output directory again I put it into the artifact staging directory there. then I publish those UI test package into the artifact and the same for the uh, infrastructure, uh, it's actually a little bit different because here for the infrastructure files, those JSON files uh, for my ARM templates, I don't need, I have nothing to do with these um, uh, templates during the CI pipeline. Maybe I can just go to scan them, but I cannot deploy them. So I will deploy them in, from the release pipeline. And in this case here, I'll just go to copy these artifacts or these ARM templates into the drop folder. So that's all for this pipeline. Let's go now to run this pipeline. Go to run, run it. And from here, I can see those four jobs. They are queued. They will run actually in parallel because I've, uh, I have not specified any, any dependencies uh, between these jobs. So by default, they will run in parallel. If I go here to a pipeline that have run it previously uh, successfully, I would see here the four, um, the four jobs. First one for the web application, you see all these tasks run it successfully, the build, test, publish for the application code, and then for the database, all the steps did run it successfully. So if I go to the build number right here, then check the, um, check the, so, uh, the tests that was run it. So those are the two tests from the unit tests, not the UI tests, okay? And then if I go to check the published artifacts, I will see here four published artifacts. First one for the web application, that is the deck pack. 
sorry, that is the drop folder for the web app.zip file. And then we have the deck pack for the database, the ARM templates for the JSON files there. And then you have the UI tests where we have all the DLLs for my UI tests. Great, follow me next to view a more complete CI and also CD pipeline for a web application and Azure DevOps. Thank you.